It is time to harpoon us a planetoid. But first, there's a couple of things I want to do. Then we open a tech tree. We come in here. I want solar pa energy. This is going to be solar panels, which are a lot better than I originally thought. And I'll explain why in a moment. But to make solar panels, we really need to make gold wire. So let's grab parts and let's grab solar energy. This is also going to unlock gears and electronic parts. And that's where this now comes in because we can now make gold wire and we can make gears. And the. Do we take the gears back in here? We've got another thing in here now. So we can now make. Um, from the copper wire, we can make electronic parts. So let's do that. You come this way. And uh, we need to put a splitter in place. And splitter just needs to do uh, copper wire. Right, 50 50 split. I think I did that right. Yeah, we don't want to go left, we want to go right. So, copper wire should now come out of here and feed back into here. We have you making gears. We don't need gears anywhere else for the moment. But we now have electronic parts coming out, which we will need in here later. And there we go, we have some. Oh, that was some gears, I thought it was electronic parts. But we may have a bit of uh, a delay since I have a filter on here that's going to stop things from coming out. Uh, what do we need to put in here? We should be making electronic parts which are and the electronic parts can't be passed through either of these filters. So there is electronic parts. Probably won't see that for a while. We could really use some upgraded belts. Let's have a quick look in the tech tree as an asteroid just skims past my face. Transport tubes is uh, the future. We could definitely use those, but we shall have to wait a bit for that. Uh, I've got logistics, there it is. I knew it was there, it was right under my nose. Excellent. I think we have everything we need for now. So let's harpoon us a, a planet. Attract planetoid. Now I've picked this one out specifically. Unfortunately, I don't seem to be able to hit it. Can we hit another one? We can hit that one. I really want to go to. Oh, not sure why that jumped like that. That was a bit weird. Right, let's have a look at the map. So I originally picked out Fleconia because it has a lot of gold deposits. And I don't know if any of the others nearby do. Uh, that one has a small amount. Um, Spaztopia. <laughs> Where's his name? Where did he come up with these names? There is Valhalla. Can I tag Valhalla? That's got gold on it. That's got the uranium, which I can't do anything with at the moment. But Fleconia there where was the other one there's Valhalla okay they're all they're too far away so what we're gonna have to do is uh, press the right button so I can actually leave we're gonna have to set up a engine so let's come into here I'm sure I already have the tech we do have the tech for engines so I can I, I can grab these take these hydrogen tanks let's pop them in there and a electric thruster which can go there and now we should be moving we are only a little bit this is not um, particularly efficient because of the power problems I wanted to solve with the solar panels but I'm not going to do that in this video we're going to get access to this island I hope. We may need to go uh, up. Now we should be a little bit better. We're now 84%. That's better. Not perfect, but better. We are still quite a long way away from Fleconia. 
So I'm going to navigate this platform, I suppose you call it, for now. And um, when I can harpoon it, we will come back. Okay, so um, for some reason it's not showing me the targeting indicator when I try to uh, attract a planetoid. However, if I click on the planetoid, maybe I'm now too close. It did kind of work for a bit, but it's... Yeah, strange. Uh, let's go up. Uh, let's go up like I asked for. Thank you. And then we can just turn these off. So here is Fleeconia. This is going to be our mining area for a little while. We come over here. We've got some copper, we've got some gold, and we should have rock, which gives us quartz. And if we look, there should be, here we go, there's a little spot here. If I whip out my pick, this gives us quartz as well. So we're going to be mining this as much as possible to get all these resources. So we'll fill those in. We're also getting dirt, which we do need. That is going to be useful for science. We have trees, which are going to give us wood, I think. You do, you get wood logs. And if I hit my C key, there we go, I have carbon, iron, copper, gold, pretty much everything that I would need. I didn't see how much gold was in this vein. So this should have everything that we need. And now we just need to connect the planetoid to our base, which isn't fully explained, but basically what we need to do, slap that bad boy there, come back into this, hit dock, and it should just automatically align us. We don't need power at the other end, we just need power at one end. And we're going to clip into the thing here. Oh, that's actually, we didn't quite clip in. That is so very close. And there we are. We are now docked with a planetoid. Now, if I open this, we can have a line coming in, which is our, going to be our resources. And uh, let's get this tree out of my way. That's a very, very hard tree. So what we want to do is we want to achieve a couple of things. We want to be able to mine these deposits. We want to probably collect some of these rocks ourselves manually. The quartz is going to come in very handy later. And we, if I can stop doing that, thank you. Let's, uh, let's just get wrong button. There we go. Let's just get rid of that. So, we're going to get dirt, we're going to get copper, we're going to get gold, we're going to get whatever resources we've got on here. We've got some quartz, we're going to collect that. We are going to build lots and lots of mining machines. Now, because of the layout that we have here, we could pump the resources via this docking tunnel and take them via a very long belt all the way around here. But I think what we should probably do is... Mine up some carbon, maybe. Or, we have a look and see how much gold wire we have. We have 28 gold wire. And we could manufacture a bunch of solars. And this is kind of one of the reasons I wanted the solars. The other reason I want solars is because these machines here only require four. So we could put four solar panels, and this is why I put this wire across the top. It might look a bit weird. Put solar panels across the top here and we can power all of these and we can disconnect these via this wire here to from our main power supply reducing our power consumption by quite a lot and making these self-sufficient because what we will also do is we will run the smelter here which only requires three power using the solar panels and this works neatly because these occupy, I believe it's five spaces, one, two, three, four, five. So we get five solar panels per astral, auto asteroid catcher. 
Let's see if we can just build some now. There's solar panels. I may need to mail you. Yeah, I do. I need to build a platform. So. Uh, it won't let me just build it straight up. So what we have to do. Make a little. Stand. And then if we just drag along here. That will be our. Solar panel array. Dip into here. Grab solar panels. Rotate them correctly. And of course, there's an asteroid in the way that we can drag along here. And immediately, we have a whole bunch of solar panels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that powers two of these and gives us a little bit extra. But what we'll do is we will. I won't do this on camera, we'll do this off camera. Run these down here. We will be able to disconnect this power at some point. I don't want that one there. You can see what we're going for. We have a roll, row of solar panels down here and a row of solar panels down here. We disconnect the power. Those will then run autonomously and we make sure to wire these up in such a way that the power is running through that we then just sever this power rail here and we'll basically have two separate sets of power rails 